most importantly for me, this is a resounding endorsement of the fact that survivors of sexual abuse and those who suffer from mental health issues like I do, there is no shame in speaking out. The fact that it's taken me with a semi-public profile, a bunch of very famous friends, a healthy bank account, an amazing wife who's a 10 when at best I'm a 6, a bunch of psychiatrists, a huge team of lawyers. It's taken me 14 months to be here in front of the Supreme Court to finally be told, yes, you can tell the truth about your own history. Is there a victory in that? I don't know. If it's taken me that long, with all of that that I have, that ridiculous privilege that I'm lucky enough to have, what the hell kind of chance did the survivors of Rotherham, of Savile, of Kinkara, of Dolphin Square have of being heard and being able to stand up and tell the truth?